So I just snorkeled the red foreman. Um, if you see my other snorkel video, look it up. I did it the exact same way from the air box to here. However, I decided I wanted this snorkel to come out here, kind of like the high lifter one. I am going to sacrifice some rack space, but um, I didn't want to cut a hole in this black piece of plastic because it's much more expensive than this little quarter pieces. I think it does look cool there, but just let me make it higher. And yeah, I want to do something different because I've already done it that way. So like my other video from the air box to the cylinder is exactly the same. From here, it's a little different. So that's just a rubber coupler, 22.5 street, a uh, 14 inch piece of pipe. It goes up there. And you want your pipe to cross right in this groove because that way the body panel will fit around it. If you have the pipe any lower, the body panel is going to hit it and you have to trim your, your side cover. Then up here, that's just a street 45 down into a four inch piece of pipe. And as you can see, it fits really close up to the gas tank, which should let my Catvo's bracket, which brings my shock mount out to about, to about here, um, should clear the snorkel. Might have to trim the bracket a little bit, but no big deal. My vent lines, like in the other video. Yeah, it looks really clean from outside the bike. Unless you know what you're looking for, you can't even see it. It doesn't come out here and hang down all low or anything stupid. Um, and it should have really maximized flow, you know, 45, 45s. There's no 90s. Very smooth flow, all the way in the airbox. Two inch all the way in, using the little table salt trick. Should keep the flow somewhat laminar. And uh, losing a little bit of rack space. Not too bad, not as much as you'd lose with the high lifter. Um, try to put it as far back as I could. But I, like I said, I didn't want to cut a hole in this plastic because that plastic is expensive as crap.